This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Stone versus Russell. You all are engaged. You're two months pregnant. And I see here in the court papers that Mr. Russell cooks for you, he cleans for you, he rubs your feet. Yes. Oh, why have you brought your fiance to court? I heard you say he rubs her feet. Yeah. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, go ahead. Okay. I love a good foot rub. <laughs> we here because... Y'all know we here because she think I'm no, a hoe. No, because he used to be a hoe she... and I think he still is a hoe. I stopped hoeing to be with her. What did you give up? Two women a day, seven days a week. You're not feeling that? I, I find that hard to believe. And he's able to stand up. I believe I just... it. <laughs> I believe it. I think you were tired, and this beautiful woman came along. You're like, ooh, thank goodness she's saving me from no. <laughs> Is that what happened? I wasn't tired. It's just she changed me. She made me want to change, brother. All right. And you changed All her. Right. Yeah. So, Miss Stowe, you still think, even though you're engaged, yes. that your fiance is still out there doing his thing? Yes. Why do you believe this? What are the warning signs that something's amiss? Because his phone stays face down. Lie. My phone is No, his phone open. stays face down. I'm talking. His phone stays <laughs> face down. He will leave. He'll probably say he here, end up being somewhere else. He got mystery people calling his phone that he say they his stalkers. He don't know why they calling. Okay. And it'd be like one, two o'clock in the morning. You got strange folks calling. Uh-huh. At one and two in the morning. Yes. And he said, he describes them as his stalkers. Yeah, them stalkers. You got it like it's that when one people person. are stalking you? Yeah, I got, I got a stalker. And he got yeah. mystery kids. I'm like, I'm sorry, a mystery kid. Yeah, I only know about three, but... Some kind of way, it's some just keep popping up. They the baby mamas. I don't know nothing about. Okay, where I does mean, this... You... <laughs> uh, wait, wait, wait. How does a, a mystery kid pop up? I want to hear what yeah, that looks mystery like. Mystery baby mamas. They pop up kids. in her head. <laughs> Look, do the oh, math. Okay. Hold Two on, women a day, hold on, hold seven on. days a week. <laughs> you know, that's just a recipe for a mystery kid right there. Oh. I mean, you, you, you're bound to have a mystery kid pop up somewhere. Oh, um, Mr. Cutler, I don't know what to yeah, do. Yeah, let's do the math. The... Two times a day, right. seven days a week. I mean... Yeah, the numbers get pretty big real yeah. quick. Right. The fact Good. that you don't have a whole bunch of mysteries is the question. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. he got All right, a lot so of them. mystery mama popped up. Was it a call? Did they knock on your door? Um, How did that happen? Well, we got one. She was one of his ex. She tried to put a baby on him that wasn't, wasn't his. Okay. Okay, but she just keeps popping up. Why do these women keep popping Why? up? It's just that one woman, my stalker. So it's the same woman <laughs> it's who's the, a stalker. This is my stalker. Do you have a baby with the stalker? I ain't got nothing with her. But she got something she, with you. She's just asking chasing you. chasing you. Right. I did something right. Oh, so you did Ooh. have a relationship with her? No, we, yes. had, we had a sex ship. You had a what? A sex ship. <laughs> yeah. Lord have mercy. Okay. See, oh, you, know, so you got relationship, right. you got situationship, and, and you got, got a sex ship. Mm -hmm. right. You know what? The last time we had a new relationship was situationship. And I had... Okay. So, you got a sex ship. Had. You can't even say it. Had. You had one. Yeah. And it was all that that she's still trying to get... I chase did, you down. I did something right. You did <laughs> hey. Maybe you did something wrong. And that's you... why... She won't leave. She won't leave. Let her know. When a man, when, when when a man puts it down, when a man puts it down. Thank you. I mean, that's that's just the way it is. Is that so? Oh my. Isn't that right, is Mr. That... Russell? Uh-uh. Don't be that's trying right. to put it on Mr. Russell. That's what he said. <laughs> he can't help. Whatever, man. So but, uh -huh. he's saying it's one woman. Has it been more no, than one it's woman? Multiple women. It's not just one. So you think okay. he's having sex ships all over the place? Yeah. <laughs> so why do you believe he's cheating now? Okay, for example, it was his birthday. He wanted these shoes, so he got his friend to go get these shoes for him. Okay, so he said he's going to meet his friend. His um, friend was going to meet him at a store, which is 10 minutes from the house. Okay, so he left. I waited about 15, 30 minutes. I called him. He didn't answer. I called, like, three times. He still didn't answer. You gave him 15 minutes to buy his shoes? To go get the shoes and come on back to the house. Okay, so these shoes were already <laughs> picked yeah. out. So he just had to pick them up. He just had to pick them up. Mm. Okay, about three hours, he comes in in this video that I submitted to the court. So you submitted a video yeah. that Mr. Russell gave Three to you. Three hours later. Three hours later. Yeah, he still ain't like, made it back home. Three hours later, he's still at the store picking up his shoes. <laughs> Let's take a look at this. I'm sitting right here waiting on That O'Reilly, I ain't got a lot. 
do that video show him picking up shoes <laughs> at a store? <laughs> well... And so that would be a no. Okay, okay. thank you. Thank but you. Mr. Mr. Russell... I told her where well I was at. Yeah. She didn't believe it. That's why I sent the video. Um, you seen that car when it first come on? That was his car. He coming from Silicon. I'm waiting to meet him. That's why I'm at... Oh, there go. That's his car. <laughs> okay. Okay, you, you... say in the video where you are, but that is, that's not proof. Now, here's the other part of it. If you're going to be gone to a specific place that she knows only takes 15 to 20 minutes... Right. ...and you're going to be longer than that, most people don't send video evidence of where they are <laughs> unless they feel they need evidence because uh -huh. they're trying to hide something else, and that's what Ms. Stone is concerned about. All right, so, Ms. Stone, the bottom line is... You submitted this video, and you're talking about this situation because you don't think he was with his friend getting shoes. You no, think he was with I another woman. No, and why. That, this same day, which led on to that night, which is his birthday, right? So we celebrated or whatever. So we land in the bed, his phone going off at 2 o'clock in the morning. And that's so typically found... when people have a conversation at 2 in the morning. Right, so I finally well... answered the phone. <laughs> well, it's his birthday, people... Texting him, calling no, to wish him no, a happy birthday. No, no, no. So People I don't call you and wish you a happy birthday? They don't call me at 2 in the morning. Right. If that's when they get off work? No. No? <laughs> they know me, because I'll be like, why are you calling me at 2 in the morning? So I get the phone. So the female says, would you like some birthday sex? And she got a gif. Ooh. I submitted that to... Oh, OK. OK. <laughs> Ron, Ron, would you grab that, please? Yes, Sean. <laughs> So, wait, oh, so the wait. phone is going up. It's not ringing. It's just messages coming up. Yeah, through okay. a commissioner, yeah. And so you decided to answer it. I was pretending I was him. I said, come pick me up. She said, okay, I'm on my way. Okay, so wait. wait so How does she know where you live? Thank you. That's what I said. How she know where you live? <laughs> Everybody know where I stay. And so this is what you see on the phone. Yep. So is you ready? And then the gift of a woman performing oral sex, mm -hmm. and then it says birthday sex. Yeah. That's what she's offering him for his birthday. Uh huh. That's what That's she why I don't get 2 a.m. calls. That's there it is. <laughs> right here. For my birthday. Right here. <laughs> Mr. Russell. I, I, I can't control and, how she's feeling, what she want to give me for my birthday. I ain't had nothing to do with that. Let me be very clear with you, Mr. Russell. A woman is not gonna put that out there if she knows you're committed to the woman you with. Thank she you. She know. No, she don't. Yes, she do. No, she don't. I ain't brought her to the wedding. She wouldn't be sending you this. Right. Dang. That's just half of it. Man. So, because... Mr. Russell, is it your testimony you are not cheating? All right. Unbelievable. All right, what else you got? Okay, so <laughs> as I'm going, I'm already in the phone, I get this message. I'm seeing, you know, multiple naked pictures of different women. So of I course this you are. one message, it comes up, sex was great. Can I have some more? Now, at the same time, this message came through when he's supposed to be picking up his sneakers. Oh! <laughs> oh! So explain that. Oh! Okay, you submitted a recollection to the court, is that correct? Yep. And this is what you remember seeing. Sex was great, can I have some more? Is that right? Yes. And then it was a, a nude picture. Yeah, a nude picture. All right. Mr. Russell. I can't okay. wait, Mr. Russell. <laughs> <laughs> what you got? That was in the phone among... I get naked pictures on the regular. Wow. Why you leave them in there? I don't erase nothing because I don't respond to it. He, he's yeah. got it like that. He... You... You... What? I, is, I don't erase why? it. My phone ain't locked. Why? Why, why, is, is, why? why is the woman telling you the sex was great? Because of what is... I used to be. It was so great, she and remembers it from four years ago. Four, yeah. <laughs> I mean, and can I have some more? That's something from the past. That ain't present. No, but it was sent no. on your birthday. <laughs> not only was it good... She wants some just, more. Not just remember right. it, that, oh, it was good. I want some more. Right. That, that's somebody <laughs> that I had in the past. She knows it's my birthday. I gotta... I done my thing, now she wants some more. Oh, wow. Okay. And, and that's, your, that's your testimony to this court. That's the... That's your story. You I know I did it. something right. He's gonna stick to it. <laughs> All right, do you have anything yes. else, Ms. Okay, Stone? so we had a date night. Okay. And we're sitting there, and he got a text message. My stalker. Did y'all go out? And I'm like, who is that? How they know we going out? All right, so you on date night. Yeah. Me and Mr. Cutler, we have a... We have a date lunch. Mm -hmm. We've been having a date lunch 
for 29 years. Mm-hmm. Saying, every Wednesday. Every Wednesday. And now, admittedly, there have been some times, like, I've had to travel or he's had to travel, whatever. But we're consistent. We've been doing that 29 years. So I know we both get a little tight when the other one has to cancel. Mm-hmm. And I fairness. don't know what I'd do if I saw a text message from a woman say, oh, y'all went to lunch? Yeah. I'd be... A little, and a little. And the same day he was trying to get to a party, so I'm thinking, you know, you was trying to get what she was because you wanted to cancel out. And I'm like, nah, we ain't canceling out. Okay, was it the stalker or was this some I other woman? I don't know. Woman? He told me it was a friend, a homegirl. He told me it was a homegirl. And I said, okay, so what's your homegirl now? He told me, I said, okay, this homegirl is the same homegirl to this stalker that you got. So it's some connection there. Ah, but he didn't tell you at the time it was a stalker. It was no, just a homegirl. No, he told me it was a homegirl. Okay, Mr. Russell? My homegirl did text and ask, did we go out? Your homegirl stalker? No. <laughs> she friends with my stalker. Oh, well, of course. Mm-hmm. Me and the homegirl, we went to school together. Are you... Look, his homegirl is friends with his stalker. Color, right. don't get much richer you... than this one. <laughs> <laughs> it don't get richer than this one. So, I your mean, stalker and your yeah, homegirl are hanging out. Me. That's her friend. You know, that's her business. She know where I stand. Oh, and because you've got to like come that. at me, talk about her, because she know I don't, man, I ain't going down that road no more. He's got his homegirl and his stalker. They're talking to each other, like, okay, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to send him the picture, and then you send him the text message, and then we're going to send him... No. Really? No, it don't, it don't work like that. Really? It don't work like that. You are the unluckiest man on the planet. <laughs> I don't want nobody but her. That's it. I don't care what they say. I don't care what you send. I don't care what message you send by whoever. All that dead. That's why I tell all of them, come on to the wedding. I'm all right, show so you. what you're saying is, and let me be clear about your testimony, Mr. Russell. You are not cheating. No. You are not cheating with your stalker. No. You're not okay. cheating with your stalker's friend who's your homegirl. No. You're not cheating with the folks who are sending you these miscellaneous messages. No. You aren't cheating with the woman who sent you this. No. You Any other, other women who are None of the other women. You, you are cheater free. Yes. All right. Okay. <sighs> Miss Stone, you aren't buying any of this. No. And so my question to you, you're two months pregnant, you're engaged. Right. If you find out he has, in fact, been cheating, I can see the tears in your eyes, what's going to happen? It's over with. You're done. So you will break up your family you just started. Yep. Why have you stayed in it this long? Because he keep trying to persuade me that it ain't nothing. They just, you know, groupies or whatever, just texting his phone. But I know it's something more than that. So you just hanging, dangling by hope at this point. Yep. And you understand that, Mr. Russell, that you're done. Okay. You do? I do. All right. This court has done a full and complete investigation to determine, is he cheating? <laughs> At this time, the court would like to hear from licensed and certified polygraph examiner Tommy Platt. Ron, would you please escort him in? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Platt, how are you? Good. Glad to see you. Now, you conducted a polygraph exam of Mr. Russell, is that correct? Yes, ma'am. You asked him, since starting your relationship with Ms. Stone in March of 2017, have you had sexual intercourse with any other women? What was his response? He responded, yes. He confessed. Mr. Russell confessed to sleeping with a coworker in March of 2017. He also confessed to sleeping with an ex in April of 2017. Finally, Mr. Russell confessed to having sex with a third woman in January of 2018. Ms. Stone, what's going through your mind right now? Nothing. It's just blank. Tell him what you're feeling. I don't know what to say. Is this what reformed looks like? Yeah, because I ain't nothing like what I used to be. Okay, Ooh, but in your eyes, when you say you're nothing like what you used to be, are you saying instead of two a day is now one a day? I mean... No, nah, I don't do one a day. Okay, here's the bottom line. 
Do you understand what being in a monogamous relationship means? Just recently, yeah. She's having your baby, man. I'm asking you. Mm, yeah, I understood it. You just couldn't leave. You didn't embrace it. I gotta. I gotta get there. All right. Well, okay. that, that's fine. Well, let, let us help you get there. Let me just say to you, Miss Stone, you are smart. You're getting ready to have a little person you gotta be responsible for, so you gotta take care of you. Do not allow yourself to be a doormat. Mr. Russell, let me say to you, grow up. And as we say in this courtroom, do not cheat yourself out of an opportunity to have a happy, healthy, truthful relationship. Court is adjourned. This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Womack versus Bass. You're living together and are engaged, but cheating allegations have put your relationship at risk. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. All right, tell me, what are the warning signs that you've seen that Mr. Bass is in fact cheating? Okay, for one, like if I call or text him, he get upset with me, like I'm disturbing him. And then, like, for instance, like, he leave with his cousin, like, at 8 in the morning. At one time, he didn't come home till, like, 3 in the morning. Okay. And then I found hey, texts morning, at... Can we say 3 o'clock I mean, in the afternoon? And I got a text me to prove that he was texting his ex. Oh. All right, Mr. Mr. Bass, why are you here? I'm here to prove to Felicia that I'm not cheating on her. This is, like, the first time I've been in a real relationship, haven't cheated on nobody, haven't done anything. I've been putting my everything into it. But you like Pretend to stare at other women's face. I'm, I can look, but I can't, I can't touch. I okay, know that. Okay, then you need to get out of my house and look then. All right, Miss Womack, tell me about how that. How would you feel if your husband, every time you look, look at your husband, he's staring at another woman? We don't sleep in the same bed. Okay. That's because you choose to, not me. That's emotional. Okay, how long have you been sleeping on the couch? Two weeks. Oh. About a month. This tension, I can see it. This is really affecting your relationship. Yes, yes it is. And like, you want to prove that you're not cheating. Yes. That you're being faithful to her. Your Honor, look at her. We look at her. She's, she's gorgeous. She's beautiful. That's why I got with her. So why you got to look at other women? I can look. I know I'm wrong, but I, I'm not touching them. I'm not getting no numbers. So, <laughs> I'm a guy. Come on now. All right, what is, it, what is the communication like in your home right now? Okay, like, when I try to communicate with him or, like, ask him where he going or what he at, he tells me he grown. He don't have to answer to me. I'm not your woman if I can't ask you where you at or where you going. That's well, taking my role away. Well, she's concerned about him looking at other women and, you know, on the one hand, he's saying, I can look, but as long as I'm not touching. And she's saying, no, you can't look. Yeah, but here's the thing. If I ask you something like that, you don't tell me you're a grown man. That's the problem. You know, after the 10th, 11th, 12th time of you nagging, 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 that might slip out. I, I, I'm just saying. Okay. That, might, that might slip out. Thank you. You're that. No, I agree with Excuse you on me. that. If I can complain about it by 12th, 13th time, don't you think you should change it? That's what I was doing. Doing it on so. your own time. So, I'm like, so here's the thing. We wouldn't be going to 12 or 13 times. They probably wouldn't be going to 12 or 13 times if he was just coming clean. That's the bottom line here. There is an issue about the looking. And you know what you say about that. Just because you're in a diet don't mean you can't look at the menu. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And you also <laughs> claim if a man ain't looking, he's broke, right? Yeah. So, <laughs> so now, <laughs> so, what, what so, I want to know from Ms. Womack is there's looking and there's looking. Looking is... And then there's... No, he be staring. Okay, it's... it's like he be looking like he got X-ray vision, like he can see through their clothes. Okay, so that's that's a different, that's the next level looking you're talking about. He be about. lusting. That's a different. That is not no lust. All right, now, not no lust. Miss Womack, that's when you first started your relationship, did he look at you like that? Yes, he did. Uh, so you know that look. You better have changed that statement. Yes, that you did. know that look. Yes. All right, and what she, wait a minute, more. She's, she's missing that look. She liked that look. Yeah, she liked it and she's missing it. When I first okay. got with Dale, he was the most sweetest man. He used to open the door for me. All that changed. All of a sudden, it's like the devil took over him. <laughs> okay, so back then, 
If you asked him where he was going, did he tell you he was grown? Don't ask him. He used to call me 15, 20 times a day. I might can get one call out of him now. Mr. Bass, what was it about her that made you call her eight times a day? She's over 30, single, no kids. So she had the credentials you like. Uh huh. Okay, you got her now. Why have you stopped calling her? Getting accused of being, I'm cheating. Come on, I, I don't have no reason to cheat. And that's what this is all about, me cheating. It's his actions that make me feel like he's doing something. Specifically, what actions are you referring to? Okay, he deleted me as his friend on both of my pages, forgot that he was still my friend on my ex page. His status on Facebook say he's single. I got, I got the post that he posted on Facebook say he's Ms. single. Ms. Womack, did you bring any evidence of that? Yes, sir. Ron, would you... Ron, would you hand that? Yes, Your Honors. This is the message from Facebook. Thank you, ma'am. All right, this is a Facebook post from Mr. Bass. Yep. Living my life to the fullest for my kids and myself. And then someone responds, you're missing someone. Me? And you write, <laughs> I'm single. Hmm. It, it, Why are you telling the whole problem. world you're single if it you're in a relationship a with Ms. Womack? out of something that you built. So you got kicked out? She kicked, yeah. I, if, we okay. get, I, if I stared at a female and we got to, back to the house, we get into an argument, it'd be like, get your stuff and get out. Do you get your stuff and go? No. No. Oh, wait, this is the, 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 okay, the, no. the last time that happened, <laughs> you can ask her right now. She threw all my stuff on the floor and told me to get out. But Mr. Bass, this is not just some boyfriend, girlfriend. You all engaged. You just don't walk out and leave. Excuse me, Your Honor. Don't, if we don't are tell me to go. Don't tell me to go if that's bad, what you want. What do you want? I'm, I want to stay there. Obviously, if I'm still there sleeping on the couch, though. Your Honor, can I say <laughs> something? Yes. If he's my fiance, a real man is going to fight for what he want. When I say get out, he supposed to stand up and say, I'm not going nowhere. Done it too many times. When? In your mind? Done it but Ms. Womack, the reason you're putting him out is because you think he's cheating. It goes beyond him just cheating because he don't give me no attention. I come second to everybody. Anybody can come to him and ask him to do something. He would jump up like I don't know what, but if I ask him, he get upset with me. That's hurtful. And you think other women are asking him to do stuff? I told him, I said, Dale, I know you talking to other girls. He sent a text to somebody, call me when you get up. At that moment while I'm holding the phone in my hand, the girl texts, sorry, babe, I was up last night, but you ain't texting nobody. So on this phone that you, you're holding for him, you get a text message, sorry, babe, was up way earlier and fell asleep. And he texts back, just text me when you get up. So this is some other woman that is texting him. And you believe this is someone he's cheating with. Yeah. Mr. Mr. It's Bass. Like he told me it was an old friend. It is an old friend. Okay, well, I need to start texting my old friends then. If that's Mr. what you want to do. See what I'm saying? Mr. Bass, what does an old friend mean? We were, we were friends before we got into a relationship. So this is an ex? Yes. Someone you were intimate with? Yes. And me and her, we have that understanding that we're our only friends. Nothing more than that. You have but, that understanding. No, we both have that understanding. Well, no, okay. you and this, you and your ex have yes. that understanding. You yes. and your current fiance apparently don't have that understanding, and that's where the problem is. Okay, and, but and, I, and, and, and Mr. Carla, I would disagree that the woman, oh, the woman has that understanding because she, if she was just a friend, she wouldn't be saying, "Sorry, sorry babe. babe, was up way earlier and fell asleep." Right. She's lying. So again. Yeah. You might have that understanding, but neither of these women have that understanding. Because a friend doesn't call you babe. She just says, hey, hey, by your first name. So this is why you got tight. And you saw this text, and then what did you do? I said, your girlfriend just text. That ain't my girlfriend. How that ain't your girlfriend? She calling you babe. Just because she called me babe, that makes her my girlfriend? Yeah, um, let me get to this Itabina story. His cousin came and picked him up. 3 p.m. Okay. Or okay. three in the afternoon. Three, yeah. Okay. So three turn into five. Okay, I text him, where you at? We're at Abina. Okay. I waited a while. Text again, where you at? It'll be Okay, three o'clock in the morning come. Where you at? It'll be Hold up. Do you he know what a Itabina is? It'll be Mississippi. <laughs> Oh. You've been in Mississippi. Okay. It's a, it's a lovely place. It's a little town. Yeah. Okay, because I'm like, is that a if restaurant? You blink, you miss no. Yeah. Yeah. no, you've been if in you Mississippi. Blink, okay, all 
right, all right. Yeah. I now I'm up to speed. Go ahead, love. I'm sorry. Okay, they supposed to be in the Ilabina. Okay. Come to find out, they was in Chula. That explains why it took him to three o'clock in the morning to come home. Check this out. He said he went, his cousin went to see somebody. Why you got to go with his cousin to see his friend? Won't you come home with your woman at? Miss Womack. Yes. So he leaves at three in the afternoon. Don't come back till three in the morning. When he finally gets home, you tell him to drop him, so that you can sniff him, mm -hmm. just like so that. you can smell him. I was all just in like it. That. You were all what in it. Like? All what in it. What smell like? What smell like? You probably washed them all. I ain't got to do none of that. If I'm, if... Okay. Ms. Womack, you all engaged, supposed to be married, and you are furious <laughs> that he's using his Facebook to contact other women that he's looking at other women. All this stuff is jeopardizing your relationship. It's making me not trust him. And if it comes out that he is doing something, then our engagement is over. I, I, I have no kids. I'm 33 years old, and I know I can find better. I can't do it. To get to the bottom of these cheating allegations, the court has done a full investigation and we have those results. At this point, the court will call cybersecurity expert Mr. Gregory Evans into the courtroom. Ron, would you please show him in? Yes, sir. Mr. Evans, would you please explain what you did in this case? Once I received the cell phone from the courts, I did a full forensics investigation on his phone, where we go in and we look for not just what's on the phone, but what's also been deleted, such as text messages, videos. We also did social media, and we're looking for messages and things of that sort. Did you find any communication between Mr. Bass and other women? Of course, Your Honor. Oh. <laughs> I recovered an interesting text between Mr. Bass and another young woman which took place approximately one month ago. Hmm. As you see, Mr. Bass sent a picture to this young lady. She responds wow. all, and wow. then he responds with, wow. wish I can call and talk, but wow. I can't because she's around. And then we, we're together on that photo. Mr. Bass. He's okay. a liar, man. Miss Womack, where were you all when this photo was taken? We were at the Elks. Oh, my God, At the who? man. At the Elks. Oh, at my God. Club well, dance. All right. Mr. Evans, did you find any additional communication with this young woman? I definitely wow. did, Your Honor. Wow. Okay. In fact, Tell us about the communications it. started getting really hot and steamy. Okay, bet. About sure one did. month ago, the same young lady sent this very close-up shot of her private parts. Okay, wow. Okay. Right there. That's what's up. And what's up? if that wasn't enough, Your Honor, there was what's another up? picture where she sent a picture of her breasts. That's what's up. That's what's up. All right. I knew Mr. Bass, it. this is going beyond just looking and flirting. It. Have you been physically cheating with this woman? No. Have you been sexually intimate with this woman? No. Are you emotionally connected to this yep. woman? No. So why in the world is she sending you these kinds of pictures if there's no connection? You just got it that way. Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, let me find a man <laughs> that I can send my body to then. Damn, man. Mr. Bass, how would you feel if your fiance sent pictures like that I'd be to upset. another man? I'd be upset. And if she sent a text message while you all together saying, hey, wish I could be with you, but he's around, how would you feel about that? Upset. Do you care that she's hurt or upset? Yes, I do care. Okay, tell me but about that. But did she that. care about accusing me of cheating when I really wasn't doing anything? Okay, you... When you weren't doing anything, did that just fall I'm out of your not mouth? Not anything. Did you see you the that? photos, I the don't, texts? I, I don't call that cheating. What do you call it then? I'm not... I don't, you, I don't touch that girl. Well, to see if this has gone beyond just flirting and does involve cheating, the court has engaged the services of a former military interrogator, Ms. Lena Sisko. Ron, would you please escort Ms. Sisko into the courtroom? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> oh, my God. Ms. Sisko, do we need you today? <laughs> Would you please state your credentials for the court? Yes, Your Honor. I am a former military interrogator certified by the Department of Defense. I have interrogated members of Al-Qaeda and Taliban at Gitmo shortly after 9-11. Since that time, I have been training law enforcement personnel, military personnel, and private sector personnel in interrogation techniques and enhanced interviewing techniques. So if anybody can get to the truth, 
You can. Yes, Your Honor. All right. In this case, what did you do to investigate? So I first had the accused write a witness statement, and then I analyzed it for any indicators of deception, and then I interrogated Mr. Bass to see if indeed he was cheating. What were your initial findings? So at first, we built good rapport, and he was very open. I could tell by his body language and his demeanor. He was very comfortable, confident. So we transitioned into talking about their relationship. After that, we got into the specific accusations against him. And at that point, I could tell he hit a breaking point, meaning he was ready to be very open, honest, and truthful. Okay, so with him reaching a breaking point, was anything else answered or revealed? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. There was something revealed that even you, Ms. Womack, don't know. He revealed to me that he was in touch with his ex-girlfriend, that he had plans to go see her, potentially have sex with her. I knew it. However, I knew that. that trip never happened. Did you, you come to any particular conclusion? I firmly believe that Mr. Bass did not have any sexual contact or sexual intercourse with anyone other than Ms. Womack during their relationship. There is a however. I also do believe that in his mind, this relationship is probably over. All right. Mr. Bass, is your relationship over? When I started getting new text messages, yes. Our relationship was on the breaking point at that point, right then and there, yes. Do you want this relationship to work? No. You're done? Yes. We don't need to be together at all. Cause one, you a liar. Okay, I'm a liar. A compulsive liar. Okay. Everything that y'all asked him, he can tell y'all the truth, but everything that y'all asked him, I already asked him way before now. He couldn't tell me that. That's crazy. Well, Ms. Well, Womack, but... this is not unusual. Sometimes it's hard to tell the truth. So what I would say to you is, you all go forth and, and make your own happiness. Yes, ma'am. That's what you need to do. As we say in this court, don't cheat yourself out of a chance for a good relationship. Court is adjourned.